Hi, my name is Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. Leave for a house bill. Hello. Um, so today I have got this air fryer oven. So it's slightly different to the air fryers that I've shown you before. And I'll show you why in a second. As you can see, it's, uh, it's a fairly reasonable size um, piece of kit. That goes... Mm, 13 and a bit inches by 11 by just under 15. So it's got a lot of capacity and it is very, it's basically a small oven, but it uses less electricity and it's more efficient than putting on your main oven. I have to say, I mean, if I was doing the kitchen now, I wouldn't need two ovens because with the advances they've made with this kind of equipment, there is no need. What I've got in here just now is a chicken and I will turn that round for you. This, with this air fryer, you get three trays. So you get two of these open trays and one solid tray, which is great because you can use three layers. And the other day I did sausages, roast potatoes, and um, charred grilled vegetables in here, which, you know, so the whole dinner was cooked in here at the same time. You get a recipe book and an instruction leaflet. You get this innovative piece of kit, which is to do your chips, basically. So you put your chips in there, put them on the rotisserie, and they spare out. I've got two spare screws in there, which is what the noise is. And so you never have to shake the basket. You've got this fork which lifts that out of the oven when it's hot. And then like I say, I've got this chicken in here now. Oh, hang on, I'll show you. So I've got this on the rotisserie. I had to truss the chicken up and um, pop it in there. It's a little bit fiddly, but that's just because it was my first time doing it. And you can see that's in there. So I put it on roast shut the oven door, put it, put it on roast, and then rotisserie. It's got a nice light here. And you can see, I don't know if you can see that turning around. Oh, it's doing the preset then, preheat. So once it's got up to temperature, um, oh no, it's, it's going now. So you can see it's in there and it is starting to rotate very, very slowly. But this um, uh, glass door means that you can see everything very, very easily. And it also means that you can get the food out very easily. With a traditional air fryer, you have to get the food out like this. With this, you just take the trays in and out as easily as you would any other oven. So the trays measure roughly eight by nine. I've got, uh, I'm going to be making some cupcakes. So I'm just going to make six little chocolate cupcakes for the neighbours in these gorgeous little cups. And then I'm going to be making a pizza because this has got so many different functions. You've got reheat, you've got um, air fry, you've got bake, you've got pizza, you've got toast. You've got so many functions you can keep food warm in here you can dehydrate food in here and um, it's got this as I showed you this big window that lets you see what's going on so uh, all I've done with that chicken is put some salt and pepper on the outside and I've put um, a lemon cut in half inside to infuse it with some flavour so that says on here 28 minutes I'm going to increase that to 45 minutes because this is a 1.4 kilo chicken. I'm just going to let that do its thing and um, I'll come back and show you that when it's virtually cooked, when it's ready to come out of the oven and then I will get on and make the cakes in my Kenwood and um, the pizza dough. As I say, I've used this um, machine a couple of times now and I've been really impressed with its efficiency. If if you were living in a flat or a bedsit or 
anywhere really. You, this is all you need. If I'd have had this when I was living in the cabin, I, I well, I could have just cooked anything, literally anything. So, because uh, I had a plug in the lob, so with all of those things combined, could easily have cooked a roast dinner in here. Um, Toast in the hole, anything you like really. So just think of them like an oven. It's really just a small oven that is cheaper to run, takes up less space and is more efficient. So um, like I say, I'll leave that to do its thing now and I'll come back to you um, when it's ready to show you. So that's the chicken finished. I'm just gonna lift it out with this, hopefully. You can see how succulent that is. Um, yeah, I just check, I just get the meat thermometer to make sure it's cooked all the way through. And then um, I will get on with the next, I'll clean that up. Um, there's, I put the tray in the bottom to catch all the drips and um, I'll clean that up and then I'll get on with the um, cakes. I think that's the next thing I'll do. So I've decided just to quickly make this cake in a bowl because it's easy. So I have, um, well, I've melted the uh, margarine uh, in here and this was just four ounces. Then I've got all the dry ingredients. I've got three ounces of um, self-raising flour, a teaspoon of um, uh, baking powder, an ounce of cocoa, and four ounces of sugar. I'm just going to put all those dry ingredients in, give that a quick stir around. This will be the easiest cake. This is probably quicker than a cake mix, in truth. And I'm just going to add two eggs. It's easy as that. And then I've just got probably an ounce or so of um, chocolate drops. Rob doesn't eat chocolate, so if I make a chocolate cake, it's a good thing because I give it away so that I'm not tempted. So that dog. So I've got this lovely cake um, case that I got in TK Maxx. I'm not sure if I can get in here, but the best way of making sure you have equal um, size cakes is to use an ice cream scoop. Ignore the dog. She likes to make herself known. So just get your ice cream scoop. This is quite a wet mixture. Equal amount. Um, pastry chef where I used to work, he wasn't a pastry chef anymore, but he told me that's how they always used to make sure that their cakes were all the same size in the hotel where he worked. I might get five out of this mix, because they're fairly, oh, I might get six, I might get five and a small one. I can always have that later. So I'm just gonna scrape that round. And I, I think that these cakes will take the smallest, smallest, the shortest time to do, truthfully, because uh, I should have put that down first, shouldn't I? They are just little, well, in England, we call them fairy cakes, I think. In um, other countries, they're called cupcakes. Well, we kind of adopted the whole cupcake thing. So I've just got, of a mess. 
six little cakes there. I'm going to put them in. I need to um, put this on. Hang on, let, let me turn it around. Let's just wipe that, that up first. So all you do is turn it on, choose bake, and then you'll see it says pre. So it will do that and then it will say add food. And at that point, when it's ready, I'll come back and I'll put those in. And while that's doing that, I can quickly wash those bits up and then we'll be ready for um, the pizza dough. So it's all very quick. I mean, you can get through a lot of stuff with this. So now it says you can see add food. So I'm gonna put those towards the bottom of the oven and off it goes. It says 25 minutes. I don't think it's going to need that long. So I'm going to take it down to 20 and then set it off. And you can see with that um clear glass big door you can see everything that's going on there so in 20 minutes we'll come back and hopefully um we'll have some nicely risen cakes <laughs> so i think you can see how these are rising there's six minutes left to go and um, they look fabulous they've really risen high in there and um I might put a little bit of melted chocolate on the top, but um, I'm certainly gonna have one with a cup of tea very shortly. I've made my pizza dough, so I'll show you that in a second when these are finished and um, I'll get ready to put that in there to prove, which is a really, for me, I know it sounds ridiculous, but that is one of the best um, um, functions on this air fryer oven is the proving facility because um, my airing cupboard is so full, it's always quite difficult for me to find room in there to put um, anything to prove. So um, yeah, I think they will be perfect in just six minutes. So I'll come back then and show you, I just want to show you this brilliant door um, oven, which you can see there is performing as it should. So this is ready now and they are there and they look perfect. How long did that take? What was it 20 minutes cooking time and about five minutes prep time? You have a job to go to the um, shops and buy them quicker than that, wouldn't you? So that's those done. So next up, will be my um, dough for proving. So I'm gonna let that, um, I'm gonna leave that open so it can cool down more quickly. So this is the dough. It's a nice elastic dough. I'm just gonna put that into this bowl um, that's got a little bit of grease in it, a little bit of oil, just to stop it from sticking. Pop that in there. Pop the lid on it. So this is where I take um, shower hats from hotel, from hotels to use for this very reason. I'm just gonna let that cool down because it's a little bit too warm just now. And as soon as that's ready, I'll just pop that in there on Prove. And um, I'll just show you that again so you can see where it is in the bowl. And then hopefully we'll see that at least double in size in about an hour's time. So I will come back again. So this is ready now. I'm just going to pop this in here and put it on proof. And that's ready to go. I'm just going to do it for an hour. As you can see, it's as easy as that. It's on 30 degrees, so it's just a nice, warm, steady temperature. And um, again, I will come back and show you when that's ready to come out. So I've got a nice cup of tea and I'm gonna show you this cake.
can see it's cooked perfectly. Yummy. So this is the um, pizza dough. You can see how it's risen inside there. And uh, you can see what a lovely job that has made. So I'm just going to knock that back. That's what they call it when you knock that first rise out. And then I'm going to put it in the fridge for um, what I call slow proving because I don't need this today. So I'm going to put that in the fridge now and let that prove again. And um, and then I'll, I'll make that into pizzas tomorrow. So that's me for today. Chicken. Chicken. Cakes. Pizza dough. And now I'm going to cook some chips for our tea to have with the chicken. So, um, yeah, next instalment tomorrow. So I'm back in the kitchen um, with my Kasori air fryer oven. You can see I've got one pizza in there ready to go. Got the second one there. And um, it should take 10 minutes. So I clicked on pizza, it says 175, 10 minutes. So I'll show you those when they are ready to eat. So just before I get these out for our lunch, um, I just wanted to say that I've been really pleased with the way this air fryer oven works. And um, if you follow the link in the description box, you will find there's some nice discounts available on the Amazon site. So, um, That's the pizza. Looks rather delicious, doesn't it? And I'm just going to give mine a little bit longer because I like it a bit crispier. So these go in the, well, that's going to just wash off easily. Um, but these go in the dishwasher without any problem at all. So um, yeah, works for me. But this is my pizza and uh, it looks delicious. I just put um, some passata, some mozzarella cheese, a little bit of few chilli flake, flakes and some pepperoni. See you really soon. Bye.